Hello YouTube, Marina Star of the Rio Kai here, and about to give you a quick review about the uh, Vasari Rebel Kultoresk class Titan. Um, first of all, as always, you have to research the four prototypes in the Warfare Tech Tree. It costs 150 supply and two capital ship crews, 321 seconds to build, and 9,500 cre credits, 1,200 metal, and 750 crystal. The Kultorask Titan is more of a fleet support ship. It has weapons all around, so uh, you can stick it pretty much anywhere you want and you'll be able to shoot at everything. It has phase missiles, pulse wave, point defense weapons. Uh, it has flak weapons, of course, to defend against other stri strike craft, pulse beam, and phase cannon. Um, like I said, I put it anywhere, pretty much it'll deal damage. Um, bottom three abilities, as always. And nano fibers just increase hull points, hull restore rate, shield, shield restore rate, and armor. And this, I think, is a must for any Titan for big fleet engagements. Advanced targeting increases weapon damage, and this is, I think, a waste of ability points. Sure, you can just improve the damage of your Titan, but it's better put in other abilities I find they're so much better. Harmonic containment just increases max antimatter points, antimatter restore rates and most importantly it decreases the cooldown time for each ability and I think both uh, all of those are important um, they have lots of antimatter disposal and that you can use your abilities as often as possible if you're Titan. By the way if you haven't noticed I have the game paused again because I've got another pirate raid on my ass as well as a capital ship of my opponent so let's give you some nice um, combat in a second. The abilities these are re what really make the Colto Rest scary. Um, Nano Leech that it um, steals antimatter and damage it deals damage to all enemy ships in the area around it 4 antimatter per second and 5 damage and it gains 4 antimatter and um, four arm, five armor per second. That, that, that doesn't sound that great, but we've got to realize that is for every ship that is in that radius. That means the Colterask, if it's fighting against a huge fleet, and I have been, I fought a level ten of these. That means it gains a thousand hull and a thousand antimatter per second because it just starts taking it from every ship around there, and that's what makes this Titan so scary. I think I could beat a level 10 AI Kultoras, but if a human player was playing this, I guess it'd be, it would have to be Titan on Titan combat, or you'd have a huge um, strike craft force and just keep the carriers away from the Titan, because otherwise it just repairs itself so quickly that there's no way of dealing damage. Nano Remit is like a good counterpart to Nano Leech, is that it removes its um, hole and antimatter and restores it to all friendly ships around it and so you can imagine with nano leech you just steal all the hole and antimatter of your enemies and then with nano remit you just give it back to all of your own ships so makes it good for a fleet then gravity pulse if the enemy does not have nano leech on it just decreases weapon it increases weapon cooldown by 10 percent and de um, decreases speed by 20% but if you use this after nano leech you disable all abilities disable phase jumps disable engines and disable weapons so as you can man it it's another mean addition to the ready nano leech and nano remit nano leech you steal all and pull and antimatter of the enemy fleet gravity pulse you completely disable them and with Nano Remit, you repair your entire fleet. And by the time the enemy can do something again, it's they're fighting a, a brand new fleet in essence, and completely repaired as if nothing had happened, and they are severely damaged. Lastly, the Sever is just um, a shockwave in essence. It shoots out nanites in all directions that damage enemies. And if the enemies have Nano Leech, here's the last addition to this mean combo already. They gain. 30 damage per second as long as Nano Leech is working as well. So 
as you can see the ship really engages in destroying enemy f fleets and keeping its itself and friendly ships alive as well and so without further ado we'll do a nice nano leech and gravity pulse combo kill off the titans and the pirates i mean there we go already 60 hull repaired per second 48 antimatter and each ship is getting Drain. Oh well, now it's not active anymore. But it, you can see what I mean. You're fighting a huge fleet. This is quite the mean ability. Here I'm saying that again. Uh, Seems to be quite an annoying thing that um, enemy ships just fly like almost nose to nose tight and sit there. There we go again. 40 volt per second, 32 antimatter, and gravity pulse. Everything disabled. Oh, but it doesn't last that long. I guess. Ready to engage. That's just 35 seconds, but uh, I guess only uh, yeah, well, only while Nano Leech is active naturally. Which enemy will be first? And of course, the duration of Nano Leech increases with each uh, level. Ah. So now the Advent have joined us. Engage. Get that purge vessel down before it bombs my planet. Okay. Then they won't survive. Since reveals that a pirate raid is falling. No. <laughs> Pirates are coming again. Bounty against our empire has increased. Now the reason I said why you can really on a level ten possibly against a human player only way to take down this titan would be one on one because then you see the nano leech only gives 10 hull repair instead of them mass of 60, 80, the biggest I've, most I've seen was shields are down. around 1500 I think draining my entire fleet and so one on one is I think the best way to fight this titan because uh, it can't repair itself at such an ex exorbitant rate that you can't do anything anymore. Pirate raiders have left their base. See nicely here the point defense weapons that and these strike craft weapons.
chase him down. Ready to engage. No, no, I think gravity pulse doesn't affect capital ships. At least it hasn't until now. Oh well, I hope they gave you a general idea about the Cult of Rask, um, the sorry Rebel Titan. Subscribe for more videos. Uh, the Sins of Soul Empire Rebellion Titans and general info about the new factions and diplomacy.